All right, here we're going to be talking about the 11 body system. We're going to go over an overview of the 11 body systems. We're going to focus on the major parts and organs, as well as the major functions of the body systems as a whole. Okay, so here are our standards and objectives based on this list, the New York State Science Learning Standards, as well as the Math, Science, and Technology Standards from New York State, and our objectives. All right, our first system is the integumentary system. The major functions of the integumentary system include providing a barrier, which is protection against environmental hazards, and it helps to control your body temperature. The integumentary system includes skin, hair, nails, and glands. So skin with sweat glands, hair has sebaceous glands, although uh, one of the sweat glands does um, excrete into a hair follicle, um, and as well as nails. Next, skeletal system. The skeletal system provides support, it protects your tissues, it stores minerals like calcium and phosphorus, and it forms blood cells uh, inside the bone marrow. The skeletal system includes your bone, cartilage, which covers the ends of your bones, ligaments, attaching bone to bone, and joints. It is broken up into axial skeleton, that's along your axis, so your head and your trunk. There you go, you can see the axial skeleton. It includes the appendicular skeleton, your appendages, your limbs. There you can see the appendicular skeleton. Uh, and bone marrow, remember just that that's critical for, for, the, for the formation of blood cells. All right, on to the muscular system. The muscular system produces movement, locomotion, helps you maintain your posture, provides support, generates heat. It includes skeletal muscles, roughly around 700, over 650 is often a number you'll see. It includes axial muscles, again, and appendicular muscles, as well as tendons, which is attaching muscle to bone. <clears throat> Let's move on to the nervous system. The nervous system functions to provide direct, immediate response to stimuli. Nervous system, fast. Fast, fast, fast. It is a fast response system. And it usually coordinates the activities of other um, organ systems in order to do that. But remember, nervous system, fast. It's electrical impulses. So it includes the central nervous system, the CNS, that's your brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which is the rest of the nerves in your body. And uh, the major functional unit of the nervous system is the neuron, an individual nerve cell. Moving on to the endocrine system. So where the nervous system is fast, the endocrine system is slow. Uh, and it relies on chemical messengers. So these chemical messengers are released from glands, and they go into the bloodstream, and then they move to their target cells. So the endocrine system directs long-term changes in other organ systems. And it includes the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, which is the master gland, the thyroid gland, the parathyroid gland, thymus, adrenal glands, kidneys, pancreas, gonads, which are your testes and ovaries. All right, cardiovascular system. Cardiovascular system functions to transport cells, dissolve materials, including waste, gases, and nutrients all around the body. It includes the heart, the blood vessels, the three main categories being arteries, veins, and capillaries, arteries away from the heart, veins back to the heart, and capillaries are where exchange happens. That's where arteries and veins mesh and connect together. And then it includes blood. The lymphoid system, sometimes called the immune system, it defends against infection and disease, and it returns tissue fluid to the bloodstream. So there's fluid circulating through the lymphoid system. Um, it does not contain all of the cells, uh, and it does not look like blood. Okay, it contains primarily white blood cells um, and other signals for infection, but it is also recycling um, that fluid outside of cells. So it includes lymphatic vessels, lymph nodes, the spleen, the thymus, and then sometimes, and we will talk about it, the tonsils. The respiratory system. The respiratory system functions to deliver air to sites where gas exchange can occur between the air and the circulating blood. It includes your nasal cavities, your paranasal sinuses, the spaces, it includes the pharynx and larynx, as well as the trachea, bronchi, and the lungs, which are broken down into the functional unit, the alveoli. 
<laughs> Belle says hi. Okay, and then we have the digestive system. The digestive system processes food, absorbs nutrients, and eliminates waste products. Okay, it's basically one long tube. It includes the salivary glands, the pharynx, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas, which are kind of accessory organs. The food doesn't move through those, but they do provide um, necessary enzymes. And then the large intestine. And then we have the urinary system. The urinary system functions to eliminate excess water, salts, and waste products from our body. It includes the kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. And then finally, the reproductive system, but I've broken it into the male assigned at birth reproductive system, um, which functions to produce sex cells and hormones um, and includes parts like testes, the epididymis sitting on top of the testes, vas deferens, that's the tube cut in a vasectomy, seminal glands, the prostate gland, the urethra, the penis, and scrotum. Okay, scrotum really providing temperature control for uh, the formation of sperm in the testes. Okay, and then the female assigned at birth reproductive system, it functions to produce sex cells and hormones as well, but also provides a um, location for the internal development of an embryo and fetus um, and for the production of milk through mammary glands. So ovaries, fallopian tubes, uh, that's where a, an egg would be fertilized if it happens. The uterus, the vagina, the clitoris, labia, mammary glands. Okay, so just a few questions. Which body system supports the body and gives it shape? Skeletal. Which body system consists of skin, hair, nails, and glands? Integumentary. Which body system produces red blood cells? Kind of a trick. It is skeletal, it's in the bone marrow. Which body system brings in oxygen? That's the respiratory system. And thinking about the cardiovascular system, explain how another body system works with the cardiovascular system. So I'll just give you a couple examples uh, while you're thinking, hopefully you have an idea in your head. Um, works with the endocrine system because hormones are released into the blood. The cardiovascular system has to move it around. Works with the muscular system because cardiovascular system is going to bring oxygen and remove wastes and muscles are going to need the oxygen um, and the weight oxygen brought to them and waste removed. Um, respiratory system bringing in the oxygen, removing carbon dioxide. You can find a way for it to connect to any body system. Uh, in class, we would do a blue kit thumbs up on blue kids. And so there you have it, an overview of the 11 body systems, and hopefully you learned something new.